Hey everyone, I'm making this video to announce a movie that's coming on Lifetime in the next two weeks. It's called Prayers for Bobby, and it's based off a book that I have suggested to quite a few people who are having troubles with um, over-religious parents and can't accept their child's homosexuality. To give a brief synopsis of what the book is about, it's the story of a kid named Bobby who, at the age of 15, came out to his brother and whose brother ended up telling his parents that Bobby was gay. The book goes on to chronicle the next five years of Bobby's life. Um, Bobby's family is Presbyterian, and they are deeply religious people, and they have strong religious convictions, and so does Bobby. Bobby was deeply spiritual to himself, so it was hard for him and his family to come to terms and to, to deal with Bobby being gay. His parents were extremely intolerant of it, because they saw homosexuality as an abomination, because that is what they believed the Bible told them. So. They went about trying to have Bobby cure himself, and pretty much through hounding him for the next five years, they would say they couldn't accept him the way he was, and that you know he needed to change, and this is what ultimately led to Bobby's decision to kill himself. At the age of 20, Bobby jumped off an overpass onto an oncoming traffic of a highway to commit suicide. Because of his parents' intolerance, and because of his own psychological trauma that he was going through, that he couldn't come to terms with being gay and being religious, because how could he be loved by God and also be seen as abomination of God? The story goes on to follow Bobby's mother, who is deeply distraught by Bobby's suicide, and after about a year of soul-searching, she blames herself for Bobby's death. She believes that it's her fault the way that she treated Bobby in the way she thought and the conviction she put on him and the intolerance she had that it was her fault that Bobby died. She also changed her religious views because she couldn't believe that God would let her son die as an abomination without being able to con without being able to clear his sins. Because she thought she thought Bobby would eventually be cured of homosexuality. She thought there was some way for him to cure himself. She went on to be head of a chapter of PFLAG, which is um, parents for or parents and friends for lesbians and gays. I think that's yeah, that's it. And she's done so much for the community because she understands what it's like, and now she to help herself cope with what she ultimately blames herself for her son's death. She can now help other children come through this time and help other parents to deal with their children's homosexuality, since she understands what they are going through and how they are feeling because she used to be herself religious and convicted the way they are and she understands how the kids are because she had a son who's going through the same thing and this is what's so important to me is that it shows that people can change I know it took her son to die for her to change but it just shows that people can understand that their religious views can't be wrong and can change because everyone likes to believe that once you're set in your ways that's the only way you're going to believe but I like to think that people will be able to change, people will be able, people will be able to understand our lifestyle and who we are. So I'd say to any of you who maybe haven't come out to your parents yet, or have recently come out to your parents, and any of you who have religious parents like this, that maybe you should watch this movie. I know it's easier to watch a movie than read a book. If you can, if they already watched Lifetime, sit them down and have them watch the movie, or ask them to watch the movie with you, or suggest the movie to them, you don't have to watch it with them. Because this could really help them. It's gonna. It's a strong movie. I can already tell from the previews. I the, the book made me cry. The previews make me cry. <laughs> it's, the story is so sad and it's so true. And it's just something that you know. If you really, if you really are ready to come out, or you really are ready to, you know, help your parents cope with who you are, this could be a great time. This could be a great opportunity. This movie could really help you through this, because it shows the consequences of intolerance and it shows what can happen, and it shows that you can change. So I don't know. That's basically it. <laughs> Just watch it with your parents. Watch it yourself if you or yourself are having problems with who you are and your religious convictions. So watch it. It's going to be coming on uh, January 24th at, I think it's 9 o'clock at night. Check your local listings, because it might be different, but let me know what you think. So yeah, that's it. Have a good day, and I'll be seeing you all soon.